The Cluckabell Farm Raid, a week after release, has seemingly already seen some changes that are kind of making me scratch the back of my head. With this morning's hotfix, Rockstar has changed the background script to where the game will no longer allow you to play the Cluckabell Farm Raid on easy or on hard difficulty. The Cluckabell Farm Raid is now set to the default difficulty of normal, which I guess in many ways is not really going to change the heist whatsoever. Considering the fact that for playing it on easy or on hard, you were not making any more or any less money only it really did was change the accuracies of the enemies which realistically weren't really that much of a big deal to deal with to begin with it's a rather strange and interesting change because why would rockstar really do this especially with everyone playing this solo the host is never going to make any money on the setups whatsoever so them doing this is, makes me wonder why the finale and the fifth setup i've decided to play and see if there's any changes and i couldn't notice any the one thing that i did notice though is that as compared to hard difficulty the first shutter door doesn't have an enemy behind it which i want means that the finale has kind of become easier for those who used to play this on hard difficulty maybe rockstar will do the same thing as they did with the first and last those missions where they actually gonna start drip feeding the hard mode difficulty which will give you like a smidge more money and then they can go like hey something new and exciting is happening in the clock and bell farm raid and then all it changes is one single enemy behind the first shutter door which I guess can be a bit of a problem maybe newer players were kind of like struggling with that and were kind of complaining about it and Broxer just decided why won't just streamline the entirety of the difficulty and not have people change difficulty when they don't want to maybe that's it maybe it's a different reason but yeah I find it rather strange especially because of a payout reason where it doesn't matter on what difficulty you used to play it at it would still give you the same amount of money which by the way just to reassure the money hasn't changed you can still get the same kind of payout it's completely the same as it was before so don't worry about that but yeah rather weird change also the playlist method has been patched out as well with the same background script updated from this morning so if you were using that unfortunate now patched i'm sure someone will find another way again but until then you're gonna have to play the clock and bell far raid like you should if you need the help with that you know check out my guide or watch the speedrun version of that to make everything go just a a little bit quicker and finally while we're here uh, i guess i'll give my two cents on the whole banning situations uh, for those who are unaware there's a massive ban wave that has happened in gta online there was a bunch of like duped accounts and apparently there was a whole large big business behind all these duped accounts where they were making several hundreds if not thousands of dollars on a daily basis because for some reason people like to complain about gta online being too much of a grind but are happily able to spend 100 to 300 euros on a account i guess uh, time is money in this regard uh, regardless if you are looking for a bit of a laugh or just to see the absolute worst of humanity have a look on twitter and see ro tears rolling because people are upset about the fact that they got something that is clearly not meant to be in your possession and now have been banned those businesses probably have got a classic case of the steve mallard brand song go on take the money and run <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and become a member like Chloe, GTA Plus, Notorious Jam, Dan, and the Crystalonics. And I'll see you all later.